knock, knock, knock. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is JC Strong, USA College of Nursing. Um, today I'm going to be performing the neurological exam on you. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. It's first I'm going to perform hand hygiene before we get started. Um, next I'm going to look at your appearance. You are well groomed. You have good hygiene. You're well dressed. Um, next I'm going to assess your behavior. So you're looking at me. You're smiling at me. Um, you've been able to respond to me and you're alert. Um, next I'm going to test your cognitive abilities. So um, what's your name? Dylan Collins. Where are you? At home. What time of day is it? Nighttime. Okay. Um, next I'm going to test your recent judgment. So what did you have for dinner? A hamburger. And I can confirm that because I brought it to you on a tray earlier. Um, so next I'm going to test your remote judge or your remote memory. And um, so who was the president before Donald Trump? Barack Obama. Yes. And now I'm going to test your judgment. So if you were to see blue lights behind you while you were driving, what would you do? Pull up. Okay. And where do you see yourself in two years? I was working as a firefighter. Okay. And um, what does a needle in a hay or trying to find a needle in a haystack mean? Uh, it's hard to find. Okay. Um, so next, I'm going to move on to testing your um, cranial nerves. So the first one I'm going to test is your olfactory nerve. So I'm going to have you include one side of your nose and sniff. Include the other side and sniff. All right. Now I'm going to have you close your eyes and include one side of your nose and tell me what smell this is. Lemon. Mm -hmm. Include the other side. What smell is it? Coffee. Okay. So your cranial nerve number one is intact, your olfactory nerve, sensory and rotary portions. Um, next I'm going to move on to the optic nerve. So for the optic nerve, I usually would have a smell and eye chart and you would stand 20 feet away and um, read the lowest line possible. If you were to see at 2050, that means that at um, 20 feet, you would see what the normal eye could see at 50 feet. Um, but today we use a handheld vision screener, but I don't have mine, so we're pretending. Um, so I'd hold it 14 inches away from your face and you would read the lowest line possible. If you were to read at 20 to 30, that would mean that you would see at um, 20 feet with the normal eye could see at 30 feet. And then um, your optic motor is intact. So the next thing we're going to move on to is cranial nerve number three, four, and six, which is the ocular motor, the trochlear, and the abducens. So for those, I would test for perlac. Look at me. So your pupils are about a seven millimeters on each side. Um, so they're equal and they're round. Um, next, we're going to test for direct light reflex. And I did constrict with direct direct light. And next, we're going to test for consensual re consensual light reflex. And I did. Um, constrict with, uh, or your right pupil constricted whenever I shone light into the um, left eye. So they were consensual. Next, I'm going to have you look at the beach sign. And your pupils dilated. And next, I'm going to have you look at my finger. And your, your pupils did constrict. So when looking at a faraway object, your pupils dilated. When looking at an object up close, your pupils constricted. Now look at my finger again and just follow it in. All right, so your eyes converge on their axis. So um, that means that they turn in towards each other. So your pupils were equal, round, reacted to light. Um, they accommodated and they converged. So your, you know, um, we have to do the EOM test. So I'm gonna test for parallel tracking. So just follow my pin light. So I noted no nystagmus, and you were able to parallel track my pin line. So your um, cranial nerves three, four, and six are intact. Um, so next we're gonna move on to cranial nerve number five, which is the trigeminal nerve. So the trigeminal nerve, I'm gonna have you clench your jaw for me. I'm gonna feel for muscle tone, and it's equal bilaterally. And I'm gonna pull down on your chin and just resist me. Now close your eyes for me. 
And just tell me now whenever I touch your face. So the motor and sensory portions of trigeminal nerve number five are intact. So the next thing we're gonna move on to is spatial nerve number seven. So for this, we're gonna make some funny faces. So puff out your cheeks, raise your eyebrows, smile, <laughs> frown, and close your eyes and just um, resist me opening them. All right, so um, your facial motor portion is intact. And at this point, we usually do a sensory portion um, where I would place a salty or sweet taste on the two-thirds anterior part of your tongue, but we're going to skip that today. Um, so your facial nerve number seven is intact. Next we're going to move on to the acoustic nerve number eight, and um, I'm going to say a word and you just tell me which word I say while occluding one side, one ear. Dolphin. Yep. Okay, now include the other ear. Guitar. Yep. Okay, so you have no high frequency hearing loss, which tells me that parallel nerve number eight, the acoustic nerve, is intact. So next we're going to move on to cranial nerve nerves number nine and ten, which is the hypoglossal and the pharynge or not the pharyngeal, sorry, the hypoglossal and the vagus. So for that I would um usually we would um, use a tongue blade to elicit a gag reflex, but we're not going to do that today. Um, but I'm going to look in your mouth and just say, ah, for me. Uh -huh. And the uvula did rise on phonation and it is midline. So your hypoglossal and vagus nerves are intact. So um, next we would usually do um, a sensory portion of that and it would be uh, placing a salty or sweet taste on the posterior one third of your tongue but we're gonna skip that today. Um, so next we're gonna do the spinal accessory nerve number 11. And we are going to, um, I'm going to place my hand on your face and you just resist me. Same thing for this side. Okay, so now just shrug your shoulders and resist me. Okay, so spinal accessory nerve number 11 is intact. The next thing we're going to do is cranial nerve number 12, the hypoglossal, and um, I would look at your tongue, and it's midline, and um, usually I would place a salty or sweet taste on the posterior one third of your tongue, but we're not gonna do that today. Anyways, um, Next, we're, gonna, we're done with the face or the cranial nerves, so we're going to move on. So next, I'm going to test your walking. Okay, so just walk down the hallway for me, 20 steps, or 10 steps. Okay, you can walk back now, heel to toe, which is also called tandem walking. Okay, um, so I noted minimal swaying. Next, I'm going to perform the Bromberg test. So just stand up for me. And I'm gonna have you put your feet together and close your eyes. and there was no swaying present, so that is a negative Romberg test. So the next thing I'm going to do, oh, I think I have it upside down, that's okay, let's get right back. Anyways, um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to test your reflexes. No, I'm going to um, do the sharp and dull test with you, so just sit down for me. Okay, so, um, this is sharp, okay, and then this is dull. So just close your eyes for me. And just tell me if it's sharp or dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. <laughs> sharp. Yes, okay. So those were um, good, um, and that was normal. Uh, 
Alright, so next we're going to press your reflexes. So the first one we're going to do is the bicep. So. And next we're going to do the tricep. Just relax. There we go. And next we're going to do the um, brachioradialis. There we go. Okay. Um, next we're going to do the patellar. Okay, so next I'm going to do the Achilles. Sorry, I'm moving around so much. Okay, next I'm going to do the Achilles. There we go. Okay, so next I would do the Babinski. <laughs> okay. And um during this oh shoot, it's upside down. Sorry guys. Um so during this test or this assessment, I've been um also assessing you for um the Glasgow Coma scale and the lowest score you can get it on that is a three, and the highest score being a fifteen. Um, anything under a seven would uh, reflect a coma, and you scored a fifteen because um, you scored a um, four out of four on uh, being able to open your eyes and look at me, and then you got a five out of five on being able to respond to me. So you um, were able to talk and. Um, answer me and then you scored a six out of six on motor so you were able to walk around and do everything I told you to do so you got 15 so perfect score and not in a coma and <laughs> that concludes my neurological assessment thank you